Hi everyone, in this video we will use access to um, uh, delete, update, get and post request in JavaScript and also how to use access with the JavaScript. So we will learn this in this video. So let's get started. I have a folder. In the folder I have two files, test.html and test.js. Okay, these two files. This is the HTML file and I imported test.js file in this HTML file and this is the JavaScript file. So first of all, to use the um, axis with javascript the first thing the usage is that uh, they say you should use npm install axis to use this method you can also use the cdn link okay this cdn link you can use but to use this method npm install access for that you need node.js node.js should be installed on your system i have already installed that so let's check it cmd node version see I, that is already installed version 16 okay so I will use uh, npm install method okay so let's come here first of all I will come to the command prompt here I will write npm initialize yes okay it will initialize our this folder and create a package.json file that has created so now I will install axis npm install axis that will be installed in our system now yeah that has installed let's check it now let's come to node modules this is the access which has installed okay so now let's come here to the test.html uh, here uh, we can use access now on two ways okay the first is to import it here in the script in the script okay like write node modules and after that access and uh, access.main.js this is the first method okay we can use that so let's use it we will use a fake api to get request data from this fake api okay and we will display that this is the get method okay we will use first the get method and we will get the request the data from this this data will be displayed for us so let's first copy this url let's come here right access.git and we will write it like this after that api slash users then page number two for example okay it will get uh, this page number two data for uh, to us and it is a promises promise base so we will just write that then we will get a result let's console that result if there was any error catch that console that log here so now let's run our program this is our um, test.html file let's refresh it and also let's come to the console what we are getting see we got this object okay let's open it let's come to the data page see we got this data this is the data that we got okay this data let's just print simply this the data so to print this data we will write that data that data so we will move to this data just let's uh, come here result that data that data we will just move let's refresh our page see we got just our data this is our data that we got also you can pass it to a function for example you would like to create a function and get that there so let's create a function handle data we will pass data to this and console it here you can print it on the user interface also but i will print it here let's call that function and the data let's pass result result dot data just let's come here and refresh the page see we got this data this is the data that we got this is the get request okay so if you would like to use the cdn method so you can simply come here and just copy this link and let's come to your html page and just come in down this come down and just refresh save it and let's come here back to our program and see where see we got back that result okay refresh it refresh it okay we got that result which method you would like to use so you can use that so it was all about git let's come in down it so let's use now um, post okay
so to use the post we will just write axis dot post and we will just come here to the api we will use this post api okay in this post api if you write like this so we will get this response okay in this data so let's try it we will pass this data okay let's come here and we will use this okay api users and we will pass the data okay you can pass an object to that so let's pass this data and we will get in the result this let's pass that let's remove this coming and dot then we will get our result let's console dot log result and dot cage Let's uh, refresh it now. Uh, and got uh, require is not defined. So let's remove it. Let's remove this line. Let's refresh it. See, we got this response. The response is two zero. Okay, it means. The response is okay and this is the data we got job id and created at okay as they said we got response to zero one and this was the data that we got so it was the post request so now let's use the um, put request okay let's come down it and come down here comment it and use axis dot put and here we will write our api comment down it let's come here to the api and come to the put update so we will use this api request and we will pass this data to that and it will be um, we will update it okay we will get back this result means we will assign our own names here so let's come here we will write let's copy this copy paste we would like to update the second user and let's pass data to that uh, the name would be name would be like i will just name it yusuf and the job would be developer developer okay we pass that that thing we'll get a result console.log result let's check it now about the update let's come here refresh it see we got this data 208 that is okay and we got developer job yourself and created at this time okay so now let's uh, try the delete for the delete uh, we will simply just come here and come to the api we will come here to delete request we will pass something like this and we will get 204 for response Axis dot delete and we will write something like this. We would like to delete the second user. Then we will just uh, simply copy. Then we will just try. so we got 204 uh, status our code so it was all about using um, git post 
and delete and put request with the access using javascript uh, i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for more and more videos and finally thanks for watching